CGFC 200 just unlocked massive power. New DDC OFF support for 30 plus ECUs. Hey, gearheads, tech wizards, and tuning enthusiasts. Here's a question to kick things off. Do you know which latest update just turned the CGFC 200 into an even more powerful beast for ECU programming? If you got an idea, hit the comments right now. No cheating. Let's see who really knows their tools. Today, I've got something massive to share with you all. Something that could completely change the way you diagnose and program ECUs. The CGFC 200 has just dropped a game-changing update. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. If you've ever struggled with DDC off functions or ran into unsupported ECUs, this update is going to feel like Christmas came early. But before we dive into all the juicy details, let me quickly remind you. If you love being ahead of the curve in automotive diagnostics, and if you're into learning, upgrading, and mastering your tools, you need to subscribe right now. It costs you nothing, but it helps this channel grow and keeps great content flowing your way every week. Smash that like button if you're hyped, drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's aim high. Can we hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours? Disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything we demonstrate here is to help mechanics, automotive techs, enthusiasts, and DIYers better understand ECU diagnostics and programming. We strictly follow fair use guidelines, no commercial use of copyrighted material, and all brand names or logos belong to their respective owners. Always stick to legal practices, follow manufacturer instructions, and abide by local laws when working on vehicles. All right. Now let's rev up the details on the latest CGFC 200 software update. Version 1.2.9.0, officially released on May 26, 2025. And folks, it's not a minor tweak. It's a full-on upgrade that adds something many of you have been waiting for. DDC OFF support across an impressive range of ECUs, spanning brands like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Hyundai, PSA Group, Toyota, Nissan, Renault, and even some commercial vehicle makers. So, what exactly does this mean? Well, DTC Off allows users to disable diagnostic trouble codes, ideal when you're doing tuning work or need to suppress non-critical errors. Imagine the freedom to fine-tune without annoying warning lights constantly flashing on the dash. Here's a deeper dive and buckle up. It's a long list. Let's start with BMW using Bosch ECUs. The following models now support DDC off. EDC 16 C31, EDC 16 C35, EDC 16 CP35, EDC 17 C06, EDC 17 C41, EDC 17 C50, EDC 17 C56, EDC 17 CP02, EDC 17 CP09. That covers a huge chunk of BMW's diesel lineup, giving tuners more flexibility and control. Moving on to Mercedes-Benz, two sets of ECUs are supported. Delphi Bay CRD2.X and CRD3.X. Bosch-based units like EDC 16 C32, EDC 16 CP31, DCU 17 PC42, EDC 17 C66, EDC 17 CP01 and EDC 17 CP10. Now let's talk Volkswagen, a brand notorious for variety in ECU types. Delphi's DCM 6.2 is now on the list, along with a slew of Bosch units, including EDC 16U1, EDC 16U31, EDC 16U34, EDC 16 CP34, EDC 17 C46. EDC 17 C54, EDC 17 C64, EDC 17 C74, EDC 17 CP04, EDC 17 CP14, EDC 17 U01, and EDC 17 U05. Four Continental ECUs, the PCR 2.1 and Simo series from Simos 8.1 through Simos 8.5 are now also supported. That means more VAG vehicles are now fair game for DDC customization. Let's shift gears to Hyundai and Kia, where Bosch units like EDC 16 C39, EDC 17 C08, 
EDC 17C53, EDC 17C57, and EDC 17CP14 are now covered. This is huge for users working with modern Korean diesel engines. Opel and GM users rejoice. The update brings support for ECU models like E78, E80, E83, and E98, as well as Bosch types including EDC 16 C39, EDC 17 C11, EDC 17 C18, EDC 17 C19, EDC 17 C42, EDC 17 C59, EDC 17 C60, and EDC 17 C84. And there's more. Mazda Denso ECUs like our 2 XX, RFXX, and SH1X are now supported. So are Peugeot and Citroën systems like Delphi DCM 3.5, DCM 6.2A, and DCM 7.1A, and Bosch ECUs EDC 16C34, EDC 17C10, and EDC 17C60. Renault Bosch ECUs such as EDC 16C36, EDC 17C11, DC 17C42, and EDC 17C84 are also now on the DDC off list. Even Subaru and Toyota got love in this update. Subaru Denso KS slash DT. Toyota Bosch EDC 17C73, EDC 17CP07. Toyota Denso Diesel Gen 3. Land Rover Bosch's EDC 17 CP11. Fiat Bosch EDC 16 C39. EDC 17 C49 and EDC 17 C69. And even Honda Bosch's EDC 17 backslash underscore CP06 are included. Commercial vehicles? Oh yes. Iveco, Jeep, and CNH models using various EDC 17 types are now compatible, making this one of the most expansive DDC off upgrades ever released. And that's just part one. Part two brings even more value, support for new ECU models. We're talking about vehicles from Buick and Wooling, now supporting MT60.1 MC9S12 XCP768. Shanxi Automobile, supported via EDC 17 CV44. Great wall motors with support for M7.9.7 series and MT20U2MC9S12 XCD256. Chang'e also joins with MT20U2. Huatai and Heifei Mini now have ECU support for Mi 7.8.8, M7, and TR40. Even Dongfeng and Photon are supported via EDC 17C81 and TR40, respectively. And wait, there's more. Two important bug fixes were also addressed. One, the issue where certain Volkswagen Me 17.5.22.24 and .26 ECUs failed to modify vents. That's now resolved. Two, the problem where some SID209 ECUs failed to read passwords. Also fixed. Now, let me take a moment to share my thoughts. This update clearly shows that CGFC 200 is not just keeping up, they're sprinting ahead. For tuners, ECU specialists, or workshops offering DPF slash EGR slash DDC delete services, legally and ethically, of course, this is a leap forward in flexibility and reliability. You can now work with a broader range of vehicles and brands without swapping tools. That's time saved and clients impressed. But I want to hear from you. Which ECU model from this update are you most excited to try? Or if you've already tested one of these functions, how did it go? Drop your experience in the comments. I read every single one. And don't forget to share this video with your fellow techies. Because knowledge shared is knowledge multiplied. Before we wrap up, a quick reminder. If you made it this far, chances are this content brings value to your work. So why not make it official? Subscribe, turn on notifications, and join our fast-growing community of pros and enthusiasts. And hey, if you've learned something today, a super thanks is a great way to support the channel and help us keep digging deeper. And now, backslash the answer to our opening question. What major function was added in CGFC 200 version 1.2.9.0? You got it. It's the DDC off function for a wide range of ECUs. If you got that right, 
Pat yourself on the back and flex your automotive brain power in the comments. If you didn't, no worries. That's what we're here for, to learn and grow together. Thanks for tuning in, friends. Until next time, happy diagnosing, happy tuning, and remember, the future of automotive tech is in your hands. See you in the next video.